Back by popular demand, I am bringing back one of the most requested series on this channel where I break down everything that I do. You guys have been asking me, Isaac, how do I rotate? How do I get more kills? I keep getting shot in my back. I don't know how to make it to the end zone. Well, in today's video, I break down everything from how I'm winning individual gunfights to how I'm making big picture rotations. And this is a sweaty lobby a lot of b hoppers slide cancels and i even run into one of the most winning pros in the game to break down how you should rotate this is textbook there is so much to learn and this is something that i do every single day over on my second channel not only do i break down my own gameplay but you guys also send me your gameplay to review so if you're interested in this style of academic coaching content check out the link in the description for my second channel where I do this type of coaching content every single day. Make sure to hang around until the end too because I make a mistake and I break it down ad nauseum afterwards about what I should have done differently. But first, I want to thank the partner of today's video and that is ROG. Look at this. You won't believe how powerful this is. This has a full-size 14900K. It has a full-size 4070 GPU and it is a nice, minimal, extremely compact, one of the smallest pre-built PCs you can buy. And guess what? I'm using this as I travel across the country so that way I can game and stream on the go, but maybe you're someone who games in the living room and you have this beautiful TV and you have this nice aesthetic and you don't wanna ruin it with a giant gaming RGB. Throw this thing in here. It's minimal, it's quiet, it's very cool, which ROG is always known for, and it has insane performance. So. If you want to have full-size gaming performance, but the wife doesn't know about it, sneak this thing into your entertainment setup. It is the ROG G22, an absolute powerhouse. If you want to learn more, check out the link in the pinned comment and the description for more information. Huge thank you to ROG for being a longtime partner of the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this absolute masterclass of how to rotate inside of Warzone. Moving to my mom. All right, so we found our target. Nice thing is, I've got a beautiful skylight to look through. Kind of wait for info here. Or, just in case he doesn't take the Hummer, because he knows he's three threat. He ran. I know this will get me there very fast. I'm going to see if he turns around. Nice. I knew that was a dead end, just because I've played this area before, so I knew I'm just going to hold that pre-aim, and he's going to have to challenge out to me. There's no point in me trying to push in on him and be aggressive. And solos, I kind of know that it's it's up to me the entire time, right? So I would rather have more information and more equipment like UAV and self revive and then wait 40 seconds for my loadout to pop. But since I have no other information about what's going on in this area, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop my UAV and see, all right, sweet, I'm clear. Obviously someone could be ghosted here and that could be a real issue, but for the most part, early game you don't expect people to be ghosted loadouts haven't dropped you don't expect them to have a stealth fest but we are going to ping on our map where someone is so once again we're not going to rotate purely for 100 conservative if i wanted to play that game style i would have landed over here done a recon done a recon done a recon i think that's really boring gameplay and it kind of handholds you it's reliable i 100 get that it's reliable but I don't think it teaches you how to think dynamically about what the zone is and what the zone is doing to you. So right now, I'm basically killing time until my loadout drops. Peeking around, being a little curious. Two loadouts on me. I should expect someone to be near. Be advised, there's an enemy squad gunning for you. Always try to make sure I hold on to extra smokes. And we should. Here we go. Backing up here, I can see off my radar that he hasn't pushed. Now I can hold the head glitch and get the kill. What? <laughs> yes, sir. So those little mini radar things, always throw them down, man. Always. We knew someone was close to us, and we just had another one up here, right? So we see this guy. He's going to be challenging our left. We're going to take this nasty little head glitch right here. Crouch behind it. And I know, I've got 150 health. Yes, half my health is gone. The enemy is no longer tracking you. You but I feel comfortable in the time to kill, at least in that situation, hearing the gun that he's shooting, right? If I, if I heard that guy and he was using the MKZ and it was... 
and he was single tap firing me, I would not have repeat there. I would have thrown out. I would have played it up. I would have angled off this way so that way my feet aren't showing towards him. I would angle here. I would play it up. And if I see him challenge here, boom, I'm sprinting over here. If I see a mantle, boom, I'm sprinting over here. And if he hits me any of those times, then I'm going to smoke and I'm going to regain in that gunfight. But in this situation, since I heard he was using an AR and I could see the rate that my health was going down, I'm like, I feel comfortable re-challenging one more time, two more times. Because, I mean, if he hits all headshots when he was shooting like crap before, I don't think that I'm going to die in that situation. So now we get ourselves into the rotation point, right? How do we rotate in? Well, I always like to take these and head towards buy stations. I'm going to take it. I'm going to float over top, and I'm going to look for any activity. So there's a guy right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to angle over on this side. So on this roof, I can see underneath the windows and try to get a shot off on him. We know the buy station is right here. And more than likely, he may try to wrap into that. If you ever want to quickly clear pings off of your game, you press the map button, and then you click R3, and it clears the ping. So there he is. Kind of missed an opportunity there. And we're just waiting for our opening, trying not to get too eager. Peek over here, see if he's doing a jump up. Kind of using this as a crutch, and we can see where this is called in, he is directly underneath that. So it's kind of information in itself. Obviously, while I'm shooting this, I'm hiding behind hard cover. And so we know he's already crossed across. And now we can see him. And get the kill. So counter UAVs. Okay, and now, same exact thing, right? So we just saw there was a ping over here. We'd have to play it in replay. There's a player over here that's going to be pushing in towards us. Trying to strafe in, see if we can get an angle. Since I can't, and I know he was far away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back here real quick. I'm going to drop these plates. I'm going to buy a UAV. Pop it instant. Now we have his location, and that guy already bought the portable redeploy drones. That's what I was going to buy next. That's why I was dropping those in anticipation of that. So, we ping so we can look up on our compass rows and know where to center. If he hits these shots, GG's. We're slide canceling. Just to make us a little bit tougher to hit. And now we've got a nasty hold on him. Led that one a little bit too much. Nice strafe on his end. Mm. And so a lot of people, when they get close to cover, especially when you're sniping, they'll do S-curve, 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 and then they'll run in a straight line on the very last part. And you can usually use that to predict where they're at. So good shots out of this guy. Nice miss out of me. Very nice miss out of me. And I'm going to replate. Change positions. I've got a nasty head glitch. Crack. Switch weapons. Probably a bad move on my part there to jump out because jumping has additional ADS penalties. But it ended up working out for us. A lot of commotions. Checking our back real quick. Making sure no one's rolling up on us. Clear our pings. So what I might do here is kind of the similar thing that we've done in other ones. And we rotation, right? So I'm going to wrap over here. I know this is going to be a really nice tool for me to, to rotate. This is kind of really a crap spot. This is all no man's land right here, right? If someone chowed around this corner, I'm in a really bad spot. You really just have to move aggressively through it. And try to get to your next piece of cover. Because all the time while you're rotating, you should always be considering, if I got shot right in this moment, where would I go? And it's inevitable. Sometimes you're screwed. You're in no man's land. If you're in no man's land, ideally you have a smoke that you can use. But don't use that smoke unless you know you're getting held. All right, door's open here. Got to be a little bit more paranoid. Avoid things like breaking glass, slamming doors. That can give away your position. Clearing out kind of the outer perimeter. Looking through for things like windows, doors, sheds, high grounds. And 
We take it. Zips are much faster this year than they were in the past, so it's a, it's a, it's a lot nicer. Big game bounties are, are freaking gold, man. Not enough people are picking them up, but it's a free advanced UAV, which once you get this, it tells you exactly where you need to rotate. So I can see a player over here. So I'm going to ping that area, and I'm going to ping that one with a double ping. But now I know exactly where they are. I kind of messed up that double ping. It was on this building. More than likely, those guys should fight each other. I do have self-revive and a sniper, so I'm kind of willing to challenge that guy. Taking height, getting behind cover. I haven't seen any red dots on the minimap. Obviously, they could be shooting suppressed. I haven't heard any fights either. All right, and so let's let's look at it from your perspective. Me, I say I want to run through these guys, clear out both these buildings aggressively. All right, maybe the average player doesn't like that fight. They don't like clearing out buildings. All right, let's look at our rotation options. Well, all the way back here, keeping in mind we have cover here, cover here, cover here. And that player's all the way over there. Avoiding that awkward inner city gunfight. I see that there's a mobile buy here, which more than likely means that there's someone there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work to counter this guy on the high ground. Because he took a really nice spot, and I want to take it from him. I'm clearing out my low right. That was a little bit aggressive. Low right looks clear. I'm looking at the ping that I set up here. There he is. He just got in. I'm keeping an eye on my mini-map. Anytime I have a vehicle driving by me, I always like to stay near trees or rocks. And we can kind of see... Boom. This guy's shooting unsuppressed sniper rifle. He doesn't know I'm here. He might see me now. I'm staying near this tree for cover. He stopped. Just eyes on the minimap here. And he kept driving. Sniper shots. On that guy. I'm going to get off the high ground just because it's a really easy shot for some people. I'm not worried about getting my thirst right. I'm worried about getting control over power positions. That man keeps crossing. I'm making sure I'm staying near power. Once again, near cover, kind of clear my left and right. When I go to snipe this guy, notice how I put this rock in between me and where I know other threats are, which is on this ridge line. I'm gonna back up a little bit. So this is, this is kind of like a, a tough battle for a power position right now. Let's say I don't have the information that I want. Well, we can back up off the power position, start going towards a buy station for a UAV, right? We don't want to force ourselves up into, like, super open scenarios, especially on a hill like that. It's not a great power position because people can come up from so many different angles. So I see a sniper deep in that hill over there. He misses his headshot. I shoulder for some information. And nice thing is now, because he's just sitting there, I can now take power position from him. Because I have the hold, I have the zone. Reload my sniper. I believe. Yep, still up on it. Take him off. Gonna grab that stealth vest. He's holding me from that angle. I got someone aiming at me in my back. So we gave up power for a moment, but we can use that information to take care of some holds. Wow, so he took a shot. Typically, they like to re-challenge, and it's nice for me if they want to re-challenge. guy over here boom so when i was looking at that guy in the window you'll notice my my pre-aiming was perfect right and the reason it was perfect was because i saw based off of the radar that he was on my elevation it would kind of have to be a replay moment where you could see he was on the same level as me so i was able to deduce pretty quickly where i should center and focus my aim 
Now we've got an LTV rolling up. I tried to pre-aim where he was going to be driving into. But now we got to focus again on retaking power position. LTVs and solos are a complete freaking nuisance. We have a really good hill to hold. And we're going to start working towards it. We can see a guy way up there on our top right. But like all of this, if we were just sitting up here on that high ground, we would have gotten converged on by 100 people. So as soon as we kind of lost the information, that's when you said, screw it, we're going to back up by UAV. Missed my shot right there. He's re-peeking me. Found him. So I know he's not going to take that shot while he's jumping, right? He's just trying to peek and get some information. High alert behind me. And this is one of those where we're going to have to handle this quick. Okay, because we have that sniper behind us on the hill. So we run over the top. We kill this guy. We can't get around on this fight because this guy is going to try to snipe us on our back. So we handle that fight fast. And then we can come back up here and check him out. Okay, clearing our top right, clearing our top left. And we kind of work through our covers. We know this cover's right here. See this guy way up in top right. We hit our shot. He gets taken out. I'm looking. I'm seeing a barrel out that window. Yep, and there it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to let that smoke do some work. We're going to throw it on a radar. We see that it's only one. Smokes are 20% shorter in this game. And then we're going to throw two back-to-back -back smokes and just follow them all the way in. That second smoke bounced super far. And we end up dying because the smoke jumped way too far. OP marked. So speaking of power positions... If that smoke didn't take, like, a triple hop there, that's a really easy win for me. But OP likes to play very, very dominant high grounds. And if that's not proof that we are doing the right things, he is, like, an absolute wind grinder, does not care about high kill games, is making sure he's playing for the win, and he had the early power position. So OP kind of doing that pinwheel rotation, using this natural cover here, wrapping around left to right. He still has two smokes to his name. But he's in a really bad spot here because if that guy potentially takes cover on him and that other guy's using an MTZ, that's why OP is a little bit more hesitant right now. So he's just using this natural cover. Exactly what I would do. And he got the pull. So notice how you see, you see him. He's going to steal that smoke, get two more smokes. So he has plenty of smokes now. And he's just clearing top left, top right, top left, top right. He spots him in the middle. Pre-aims, but you can't pre-aim too long because he could strafe off the one side or another. Puts on the gas mask. Spots him. Nice. Situation like that, you want to pre-aim first and then stand up. Because if you stand up... Sorry, and then, if you stand up and then um, aim down side, it'll take too long. So as you guys can see, I ran into the notorious OP marked. If you don't know him, he is going to be the first player more than likely to hit 10 thousand wins all the way through Verdansk, Caldera, Almazra. He is a rotation mastermind. He used to do a lot of recon strats to kind of get to the end zone early, but now he does most of it all natural by using his insane game sense. And I made a mistake. I got tunnel visioned on that guy who is driving around. He caught my attention. I really wanted to take him out. I saw there was some fighting going on at the church and in retrospect, as soon as I got that knock, I should have pushed in and tried to break the rest of the church. I knew there were two people fighting there. I get the knock, then I have a fair 1v1. But in my mind, I'm thinking maybe I want a little bit more information. I want to play on top of this hill, and that was a mistake. Okay, I tried to adjust for that mistake by going back into the buy station and getting information because we always talk about we don't like to break high grounds and power positions without equipment, without information. So there's portable radars that I threw down that told me this is where he is was key. I messed up that smoke in that moment. I should have just said, oh, crap, and get my gun up and try to gun OP. But he challenged at the perfect time. I tried to get my smokes to tunnel in and kind of lined up in his favor. But I have no qualms dying to OP. He's a brilliant player. And I hope you guys have learned a lot from today's video. If you did, we do this all the time over on the second channel, including reviewing your gameplay. So make sure to check that link out in the description. I'll also have another video linked at the end of today's video on how to snipe. That'll be going live later today over on the second channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. Shout out again to ROG for sponsoring this video. Check out the G22. It's insane how much power they can put into this tiny system. I mean, it is not even wider than my shoulders. This is this is pretty dang impressive. Longtime partner of the channel. 
Really appreciate them. Really appreciate you. Hope you appreciated this video. Catch you on the next one. Peace.